Okay, everybody. Uh, I wanted to go over the next lab with you. Just, just a real short two, three minute video over the Cyclonic Weather Systems Lab. This is the next lab in your book. It's on page 253. And by Cyclonic Weather Systems, this lab is really about tornadoes and hurricanes. We've got some vocabulary here. Now, I'm sure you'll be very happy to know that I don't have the maps that will be provided by your instructor. You can cross out procedure A. Okay, so let's move on to page 254, next page. So there's really two parts to this lab. There's a part, uh, procedure B, having to do with a hurricane, Hurricane Andrew. And as far as naming of hurricanes goes, uh, every year the government, the National Weather Service, produces a list of names. And they have a name for each letter of the alphabet. And the names alternate uh, between a boy name and a girl name for every other name. Uh, or every other hurricane. So there's a 50% chance it's going to be a boy name, 50% uh, chance it's going to be a girl name, and it's just chance which it happens to be. Uh, so this one is Hurricane Andrew. It used to be back in the 1960s, I believe, and earlier. Uh, I might not be right about the 1960s, but at some point uh, they were all female names. Uh, all hurricanes were uh, women's names. And then uh, the Weather Service decided that that was really uh, not equal and unfair, and they, they decided to make it so that every other one was a female name and, and the uh, alternating ones were male names. Uh, so here uh, you're dealing with Hurricane Andrew. And then uh, over here, uh, there's some information about the Wichita and or tornado uh, situation. So uh, if we take a look at this, uh, here this map, goes with map A, so you can disregard that. Okay, now over here on page 256, we've got data. And here's the data for Hurricane Andrew, which was in 1992. And we've got the latitude and longitude coordinates for the storm at a specific date and time. So we've got dates and times where the storm was based on latitude and longitude the air pressure that it was measured at, and the wind speed that it was measured at. Now, if I remember right, uh, when you go to use your Saphir Simpson scale to uh, determine the category of the hurricane, you might find an occasional discrepancy where the wind speed and, and air pressures don't match up on the chart. So when you use your Saphir Simpson scale, uh, go by um, wind speed. Okay, I think wind speed will be a more true indicator of the uh, hurricane category. Okay, uh, then what you're asked to do is on the map here, we have a hurricane map. And this is a map that shows the uh, eastern half of the country, the Caribbean, the uh, South Atlantic, Africa would be over here. Here's the Caribbean, Gulf of Mexico. And it's asking you to, based on your latitude and longitude, plot the position of the hurricane uh, and essentially then connect all those points of the line to show the path, to show the track of the hurricane. Uh, so you'll use your latitude, longitude data to do that. And then we've got a map for the tornado. Now on this map, the uh, black line here represents the path of the tornado, uh, the swath of the tornado, meaning not only how far did it go, but how wide was it as well. Uh, so here we could see it was narrow, there it was thicker, and you know then it got a little narrower towards the end. Uh, for this part of the lab, you will need rulers to make some measurements. Uh, at one point it asks you, uh, to measure the width of the tornado and uh, at various points or something like that. And you just put a ruler across and measure. Uh, there's rulers in my large desk up front. I, I'm sure some of you know where they are and Mr. Abate will help you. And then lastly, there are some dis uh, discussion questions to answer. And uh, with this lab, if you have questions about this, do the best you can. Uh, you can email me, or we could just talk about it on Monday, too. I, I'm going to be back on Monday, uh, April 18th, so uh, that's only a few days away at this point. Okay, so anyway, uh, there's also some more questions on the back, okay, so uh, quite a few questions on this one. Anyway, that's the lab, uh, and again, if you have questions, you could either email me or, or you could just wait till Monday, too.
Hey, uh, so good luck.